Hello and welcome to Architesia. If you have been doing those Windows streams which sticks out from Facade with the model in place tool in Revit, I have to say that you have been doing that on a very wrong way. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can modify a Revit family, the Autodesk uh, one, so you can set up the new trim, the new parameters, and then how you can use it in your projects and create as many windows as you want on a very quick, simple and efficient way in Revit. I'm in Revit uh, 2024, so I have a project file in front of me, and here is the ordinary Autodesk uh, instance window fixed family. So I will select it and then we'll go to the edit family. So uh, let's see. Okay, we have the units in inches. I need units in metric system. So we'll go to UN and then we'll change the length to be in millimeters. And let's select this one. Actually, I will just open the floor plans. Just I need to see how it's how it's made. So, okay. This is, you see, exterior side, so we don't need this one. And then for this one, let's just try to make this to be minus 200. You say that it's locked, so we can remove constraint. And now it sticks out. So I can then create one more reference plane. RP is a shortcut. Name this as, let's say, 01. And then take dimension, DI is a shortcut. And then from here, from this reference plane, actually, so you need, you see, you have to hover the mouse, then click tab on a, on a keyboard and then create a dimension like this. Go here and create a parameter. So this one is going to be named as our trim extension. And let's take this one and drag it to here so i'm going to lock it and now if i if i make this trim extension to be let's say 450 this should follow and let's say this one 150 so this looks okay let me see in 3d how it look like sorry the 3d of a family so yes this this seems fine and i can now open our our exterior view elevation and then here i will just go and i will create a few more reference planes so we'll just make it to go inside of of those four and then let's place a couple of dimensions so at this moment really we don't need to care about exact distance so I can select then uh, this dimension and I will create one more parameter and it's going to be called as a trim uh, thickness so we can make a trim thickness to be let's say 50 and then let's select those three dimensions as well and uh, let's assign them a trim thickness parameter also and then uh, I'm going to select our extrusion uh, we'll go to the edit extrusion and then from exterior I will take a line tool and then I'm going to align it and to lock it. Now, as you can see, we have a way thicker extrusion, but we can control it. So just go here and let's say I would like to have the trim thickness of 10 millimeters. You see it works. And then I would like this to stick out 250. So this works well as well. And uh, what I'm going to, uh, to make uh, let's just try one more thing that let's say we would like to have the width of the window of 800 so you see that this follows and if we have the height of 150 so everything follows so now uh, just to have a more freedom when we are placing this window I will go here and I'm going to uh, to, to check the th uh, some things so you see that we have the window uh, the, the width and the height as instance parameter so I would like to do the same thing for our trim extension and trim thickness so let's just make them instance and we can change it uh, then so I will now save the family And then I'm going to load it 
into our project so I'm going to place it like this and uh, let's say that I would like to make a copy so let's make this one to be for example and then we can play like this So you see how it's simple and uh, how it's efficient actually in a very quick way, on a very simple way using this uh, very, very good method, you will be able to create uh, a very nice and uh, playful facade uh, using just a one window family. And also what's very much important is that that window family has a very small size, which is quite good, which is uh, also going to help you to keep your project smaller and more operable. And if you would like to know more about how you can create a very nice interior trims for let's say your door openings, skirtings and create a very nice modeling details in Revit, just take a look at this video.